Now you can watch my videos, you can watch Grant Cardone, Dean Graziosi, meet Kevin Graham, Stefan, Bigger Pockets, and any other huge number of different YouTubers out there that will all explain to you why passive income great is great, being a millionaire is great, rental properties is great. You should already know. You should already know that this is probably the longest proven successful recipe for becoming financially independent and financially wealthy and successful is real estate. So I wanted to do a video about the five things that it actually takes to get started in real estate investing. I mean, so many people want to know what's the first step? How do I get started? That seems to be one of the biggest asked questions. However, anytime you actually go on YouTube, you don't really see a lot of good information about it. You get the same kind of rehashed, well, you know, you've got to get motivated. And then you get a big long speech about how it's important to have a desire for passive income, how it's important to have a desire to make tons of money, how it's important to have a desire to build a business, to hustle, to grind, baby. Well, the only problem is, is that once you have that desire, what do you do next? I don't think that a lot of those topics really get covered. And so I would like to go over them, well, right now. Okay, so what are you absolutely going to have to need? You need a job. As much as you may hate it, as much as you may be looking into passive income or real estate investing so you can avoid a nine to five job, you gotta pay your dues, man. You gotta put the time in. You have to, have to, and absolutely have to have a job. Why? Because how are you gonna qualify for a loan to buy a property if you can't prove to a lender or prove to a bank that you can obtain a sustainable long-term income and bring in money to pay down the debt that you will be taking when you buy your first property. So as much as it absolutely sucks to have to accept the fact that, yeah, you might put your time in at that nine to five, you need to do it. Get a job, keep a job. All right, so if you have the job that you don't want, but at least you got a job, the next thing that you need to do is work on developing credit. Look, if you don't have credit, it's gonna be incredibly difficult for you to actually prove to a lender that you're capable of paying back a loan. They're not gonna to wanna to give you a loan unless you have developed and established a credit history. So I strongly recommend that you go out and get yourself a credit card. Do not listen to the advice from Dave Ramsey, the advice that I took, the advice that I listened to for the last 10 years of my life where I refused to get any type of credit or make any type of purchases on uh, with a loan because it's hindered me and hurt me now. So please develop credit. Do not be afraid of credit. Now that does not mean go out and get a credit card and make stupid purchases. That does not mean go out and get a credit card and put dumb things on it like Gucci handbags or ridiculous sunglasses or a whole bunch of Jordans or something like that. No, make smart purchases, but just make them on a credit card. So you've got the job, you've got credit, you've worked on building it. What do you do next? Well, beyond building that credit history and that work history, you need to save for your down payment. Most people in most places in the country will be able to qualify for a 3.5% down FHA loan. So let's use some easy math. Let's say you're lucky and you find a property miraculously for only $100,000. We're going to use $100,000 because it makes the math a little bit easier. A 3.5% down payment on a $100,000 property would be $3,500, okay? So you can start to see how important it is to actually save because if you don't, you're not gonna have enough money to make that purchase. Now, different loan types may require more than 3.5% down, but you should be able to get into your first property with 35 to 5% down on either an FHA or conventional loan. So with that job and with that credit history that you're building, you do not want to be recklessly spending, recklessly making dumb purchases, making stupid financial decisions. You want to save as much money as you possibly can, and you want to actually take that money, put it in the bank, and don't touch it. All right, guys, so if you've got the job, you've got the credit, and you've saved your down payment, there's only two things left that you really need, and one of them is what I already talked about, that strong desire, the desire to actually fulfill this dream, to pursue this dream, to start this journey. Now you can watch my videos, you can watch Grant Cardone, Dean Graziosi, meet Kevin Graham, Stefan, Bigger Pockets, and any other huge number of different YouTubers out there that will all explain to you why passive income great is great, being a millionaire is great, rental properties is great. You should already know. You should already know that this is probably the longest proven successful recipe for becoming financially independent and financially wealthy and successful is real estate. If you want more motivation on it, this is where it's okay to go look at the Lambos. Go ahead and watch the Ty Lopez video and be like, damn, 
That's a nice Lambo. Shoot, Graham, I really like your Lotus. Uncle G, dog. That's a nice jet, I'm a fan. Okay, yes, that's the motivation side of it. You need to get motivated. However you get motivated, that's gonna be on you. For me, I, 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 I love a Lambo, I don't really need one. For me, it's, I grew up so unbelievably dirt poor and broke and was evicted from all these places as a child and had to pick which meals you would eat and had to live in places where they shut the power off and shut the heat off and you freaking huddle together by candlelight. Okay, for me, my motivation is I will never, ever, ever allow that to happen to me or my family or my children, my son, ever again, ever. That's all the motivation that I need. It might be different for you. That's what I need. So however you need to get motivated, yes get motivated. Lambos or fear of poverty. Either one of them work. Whatever works best for you, make it happen. So lastly, gaining knowledge. How do you gain knowledge? Now, a lot of people say you, you need to go out there and read. That's one way. It really is. And I understand. I am part of this generation where we just don't read. We just don't. I, I read the Harry Potter books. I read the Twilight books. You know, not really proud to say that, but yes, I read the Twilight. I read my textbooks, I read history books when I was in school, but I really don't read that much anymore. The most recent book that I actually read was The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Other than that, I really don't read very often. However, I do listen to audiobooks. I do watch countless YouTube videos, countless online seminars. So I really think that that is the new modern day type of reading. You're getting the same information, the same type of information from the same people, it's just in a different format. If you don't like to read, I don't blame you. However, you cannot just watch videos on YouTube, three minutes in, click out of it, click onto it, and watch the next Lamborghini guy in his freaking garage talking about how he made all this money. You actually have to watch content-rich, detail-heavy videos that will give you the knowledge that you need to be successful talking about the boring stuff like loans and financing and credit and all this other stuff that isn't sexy and isn't glamorous and isn't as much fun as i got a jet you can't you can fake a lamborghini but you can't fake a jet i mean you're, you're right uncle g but you do got to watch some videos that are actually content heavy and good so jobs good credit save for a down payment have that strong desire because you are going to need it. Lastly, knowledge. Those five things are what you really actually have to have to get started. If you have done that, if you got the job and built the credit and saved the down payment and you have the knowledge and you have the desire, you take all of that and you walk into a bank or you apply for an online to an online lender for financing and you have that financing you call up a few real estate agents and you interview them and you tell them what you want and you can go from there you just go purchase that first property you have everything built so that you can get the financing once you have that financing and lined up through a pre-approval letter you couple it with a real estate agent you say this is what i want this is where i'm looking this is how much i can afford let's find me a property and that real estate agent will hopefully if you interviewed them right and if you picked a good one will hopefully help you navigate the minefield that is poor investment decisions to find something you can focus your money, time, energy, and effort onto and be successful. Guys, I want you to be successful. Please, please take this advice. Do something with it. Don't just make this another video you watched and never think about again. Take the information, the knowledge, and apply it to your life. Be successful. You can do it. I can do it. I am doing it. We'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and lastly, don't subscribe. I don't want subscribers. Don't like this video. If you think about liking this video, think twice. Don't like it. Unlike it. Don't share it. I, pff, screw me. Screw the video. This is garbage. We don't want any of that. Is that reverse psychology? Maybe. Who knows?